the next participant ranjana soni yes yeah i'm audible yeah you are audible ranjana yeah. please go ahead yeah hi everyone i am c ranjana soni uh, signing in from ludhiana uh, first of all i really want to thank to icic this is one of its kind initiative icic has taken uh, uh, for you know making aware to the members about uh, ai and its capabilities so let me share my screen so what motivates me to build this uh, uh, tool like uh, in the mid of september i have been uh, uh, got a query from a client they need a inventory uh, for the whole year of bookkeeping and they gave us around 300 pdfs of the invoices which we, which we have to uh, you know we which, which we have to account for so it was a nightmare and you know the item invoice is a uh, is a is a is a lengthy process it will it 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 going to take a manual a lot of hours uh, for our team so the problem is processing item level invoices is lengthy manual error prone risk each invoice has dozen of line items making accurate data entry nearly impossible small mistakes in quantity rate item codes cause inventory mismatches so these mismatches lead to stock discrepancies financial loss and reporting errors so what is the solution so we uh, develop a small a small desktop tool the data is secure on your desktop it it process batch pdf uh, uh, handles multiple invoices at once ai rule generator we use gemini uh, we we uh, to make the rule for uh, extraction so how it works so we upload pdf then the parser uh, 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 is parser rule is made it's it's the uh, it's confirmed through ai rule in uh, ai rule engine and reconcile and the output is generated in the excel technology used is python backend by pdf lumber pandas open py excel ai layer is gemini and uh, tinder ui for desktop interaction and uh, for this demo uh, data is anonymized for privacy so these are the sample invoices which we extracted uh, from our tool so let's go to demo is my screen visible yes so this is the invoice extractor tool so here we have to select pdfs extract and reconcile so we uh, i have selected 53 invoices uh, in a batch it hardly take less than a minute to process uh, these invoices so this excel is generated so 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 three uh, four sheets has been asked uh, for the tool to generate first is in invoice index so this this sheet is the total number of invoices which is in is being extracted by the system and it also has a duplicate functionality so if any pdf is saved twice in that particular batch it will flag red and we added customer name also so if by chance wrongly uh, any invoices which is not belong to that particular company is also uh, is uh, is is lying there in the pdf uh, in the folder it can flag and uh, it can be uh, it will reflect here that and then we can eliminate that invoice to entered in the uh, system so that is, this is kind of a accounting and auditing is also done uh, in this uh, uh, excel sheet 
So this total invoice price in the index is the total invoice price as, as labeled in as shown in the invoice. So this sheet has a extracted items. So here for this particular client, we needed PO number, invoice number, vendor name, item ID and item description, unit of measures, units, unit rate and total price. So this line items are extracted from the PDFs. And we have also given this functionality if someone has to just cross check and re-verify, it, it, it is available with the one click. So in this reconciliation, what happened is, as I told you in the invoice index, uh, the total invoice price is a total invoice value as shown in the invoice. And this is calculated line items. So when the system is extracting the line items, it calculate the total. So, and it also calculate the difference. So if, if the system is not able to extract any line item, it will, it will be flagged. So it will give a status of field. So there is a difference total invoice price is 22603 and calculated line item is 243. So we can check this invoice why this had happened. See, so in this invoice, the, the vendor has uh, uh, deducted some amount that is freight to be paid by Google. So this particular invoice we can uh, feed manually in the system. Uh, otherwise, we are ready to uh, go ahead uh, with uploading the rest of sheet. So another feature I have uh, added in this uh, tool is one duplicate invoice. The duplicate invoice which were flagged by the system here. So the system will ask, that whether one duplicate found and do you want me to remove to the duplicate file so that we can also cross verify that whether it's actually a dupli duplicate because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a vendor invoices. So one number can also be matched with some other vendor. So we cannot, uh, uh, you know, give a, a system to upload it. We just want to cross check that whether this is a legible invoice or a duplicate invoice. But for verification, we can just move this to duplicate folder for further verification. So one duplicate file has been moved. So in this sheet, uh, so how this is works. So uh, for each vendor, there is a, uh, there is a, re a regex coding has been done. So every time if a system found a new vendor in the system, it will flag and we have to create a new rule uh, for that uh, particular new vendor because uh, vendor invoices, you know, each vendor has a different format. So the one rule cannot uh, be applied here when we applied, you know, different uh, uh, form of format of invoices. So uh, this window opens. So this is the uh, new vendor invoice, uh, which has been selected here. So here in this system, we have a testing generic rule also. So the generic rule is first uh, intelligently, we have built, a, 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 it can work in the maximum uh, uh, vendor. Uh, we will test this rule first that whether this, this rule is accurate or not. So in uh, when we apply the test generic rule, the vendor name is selected right, customer name is, is selected right, invoice number is right, invoice date is right, PO number is right, invoice price is right. The only uh, problem was with the unit rate. So if you will see the text, the unit rate is 0 0.340 because in this invoice, there was a lot of number. I can show you this invoice. This was the invoice. So there are so many numbers. So in this, uh, for particular this uh, invoice, so the rule doesn't work. It captured 522 instead of 340. So what now I just want to create the rule for this particular format of invoice. So I'll approve all. And I just want to give AI recommendation of this particular, you uh, this thing only, then it will return with me with the solution. Just a minute. So here I'm selecting the unit rate. 
So I'll feed three, four, zero and okay. Thing went wrong. I think there is some problem here with API call. One minute left. So uh, this software call API. So I think some problem with API call. I can just quickly show a video how new vendor is uh, uh, being generated. So when we verify all the items and we can save the new vendor. So another feature is smart extract and uh, API. If we are not happy with generic rule, we can apply this smart. So here first AI capture this, we confirm and generate the rule. Then AI is called again to create a uh, parsing rule. So now AI has worked, we can test and review. So if you see here, uh, unit rate rate has been captured uh, correctly. Here customer name has gone uh, wrong again. So vendor creation is really important uh, part of uh, this uh, uh, app because one vendor is uh, uh, parsing well, then the future PDF uh, will be will run smooth. So API is called only for vendor creation. So now the name has also captured. So we will approved all and save approved. Yes. Then time is over. Okay. Yes. Any question? Okay. Uh, good presentation, Ranjana ji. Uh, one thing um, you have mentioned about different libraries being used in Python. However, yes. uh, uh, what are you? Which library are you using for uh, getting the data from the bills? Any idea, madam, about it or is uh, parse? It... Uh, it the parse rule is uh, uh, parse is used for. Okay, uh, I'm asking about the name of the library, madam. A PDF, uh, PDF plumber. All right, and uh, there is a question from the audience. It is asking whether uh, if the tool can work with manual bills or scanned bills instead of those which are not computer generated. Yeah, so that. The uh, thing is the next uh, goal. Uh, right now, I have tested my tool with the PDF. So next to next goal is that. All right. Kedar sir, if you have any questions. No, sir. 